It's quite difficult to believe that the PS5 is almost five years old at this point, meaning that it has reached well over half of its life cycle. Following in the footsteps of the previous generation, Sony has also put out a PS5 Pro, which offers an incremental yet significant upgrade over what came before. The brand new console also comes with a new prospect of how powerful it actually is when compared to a gaming PC. Moreover, it's also interesting to see how much of it would actually cost to build a PC that matches the performance of our Atari console using fresh off the shelf parts. Now, please note that the price of these parts is at the time of writing and might change in the near future. CPU. Sony has provided a major upgrade over its predecessor in terms of the CPU department, making huge breakthroughs in the single core performance. The PS5 Pro has a custom chip that's based on the Zen 2 architecture with 8 core and 16 threads, with increased clock speeds up to 3.5 GHz and 3.8 GHz depending on whether it is in boost mode or not. To make an equivalent PC build, we are going to be making use of the Ryzen 7 3700X. It's based on the older generation AM4 socket, but it matches the 8-core, 16-thread specification of the PS5. The chip runs at clock speeds of 4.4 GHz, which is significantly higher than the PS5 Pro, so that should equalize out the difference between the two. At a price point of around $143 on Amazon, the Ryzen 7 3700X is a great choice that both fills out our requirements without breaking the bank. GPU the GPU is the beating heart of a gaming system, and the PS5 Pro brings several improvements over the predecessor with a much more powerful chip this time around. The PS5 Pro has an APU that shares the same chip as the CPU. Featuring over 16 teraflops of compute, the PS5 Pro is almost 60% faster in a graphical sense than the base variant. To build something that would graphically perform as well as the console, we would be making use of the RX 7800 XT. Boasting a total of 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, this card should be more than enough to handle most of our games at around 4K resolution, with some aid of AI upscaling on high settings. Calculating the TFLOP output by putting together its clock speeds and cores, we get a total of around 37 TFLOPs of performance. Now, it might seem overkill if you just go on account of these numbers, but you also have to consider consider that a console always has better optimizations on its side, which makes its lower numbers basically a lot more efficient than something on the PC. The RX 7800 XT comes at around $599 US dollars on Amazon, making it easily the most expensive part of our build, RAM. The PS5 Pro has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which is shared between the CPU and the GPU. Additionally, two gigabytes is reserved for system functions and the operating system. Several optimizations make the memory more efficient on the console. So for the PC side of things, we will have to go with 16 gigabytes kit of high-speed memory. The G-Skill Ripshaw 16 gigabyte kit runs at 3200 megahertz and comes at a price point of $46 on Amazon, making it a great choice for our build. Running the memory in dual channel does limit our future options for upgrades, sure, but should give us overall better performance than a single stick. SSD. Now for the SSD, the PS5 Pro has bumped up the storage from 1TB to 2TB, keeping the rest of the specs the same. The current gen console architecture uses PCIe 4.0 SSDs, which are a lot faster than reading from a hard disk, and these high transfer speeds opens up plenty of new opportunities for developers to create new kinds of experiences. Now to match the specs of the PS5 Pro, we'll be going with Samsung 990 Pro, which comes in a 2TB variant, and all the high transfer speeds that would one expect. At a price point of $160 on Amazon with the heatsink, the SSD doesn't come cheap, but it should be quite performant. Motherboard We would also be needing a motherboard that's compatible with all of our parts, and fitting that criterion is the Gigabyte B550MK. Coming at just around $100 on Amazon, the motherboard supports AM4 socket and Ryzen 3000 series out of the box, so we don't have to tinker around with BIOS updates. Now it looks great and performs to our expectations, so it's a great choice overall. Wi-Fi adapter. However, the Gigabyte motherboard doesn't come with Wi-Fi support out of the box, so we will be needing a separate Wi-Fi adapter to fulfill those purposes. Our choice is the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 adapter, and it comes at around $60 on Amazon. PSU. We will also be needing a PSU to power all of our components. Now, it's always advisable to invest in something that is enough juice for the job and comes from a reputable brand with a decent rating. The Corsair RM750E comes at around $99 via Amazon, is from a reputable brand, making it the obvious choice for our PC. 
case. Furthermore, we will also be needing to get a PC case to house all of our components in. The Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L Micro ATX Tower is quite sleek in terms of its design, comes with a transparent side panel and ample room for cable management. It comes at just around $40 and gives great value for money while still looking pretty darn stylish. Extra fans. Running all of these components, of course, in parallel is going to generate quite a bit of heat, and we wouldn't be able to cool them off without some extra help from fans. As such, we will also be investing in two extra fans from Arctic P12 PWM. One will be placed in the rear and another one in the front. Each is priced at around $10, so that totals up to $20 from Amazon. Now, it's a small investment, sure, but it makes sure that our components are not leaving any performance on the cutting room floor because of thermal throttling. HDMI cable. The PS5 Pro comes with an HDMI cable right out of the box, so if we're going to be building a PC, we will also have to invest in a cable to connect our display to the rig. Retailing for just around $9 on Amazon, the Monoprice 8K certified HDMI cable is a great and obvious choice for our purposes here. Keyboard and mouse. We will also be needing a keyboard and mouse combo for our day-to-day -day purposes, and because we will also be getting a controller, which we'll talk about later, that will serve the majority of our gaming needs, we will not be investing a lot into this department. However, you can still get a decent keyboard mouse combo without spending a fortune, and the Red Dragon keyboard and mouse combo is a testament to that notion. It retails for around $36 on Amazon and should be a great fit for our needs. Controller. As just previously mentioned, we will also be investing in a PS5 DualSense controller. It's great with quality ergonomics and detailed tactile feedback, and it will also help in providing a more comparable experience across both of the platforms. It comes for around $74 on Amazon. It can go higher depending on the color or if you wanted a limited edition variant. Operating System Windows 11 Home 64-bit. A copy of Windows 11 Home is also required to run our games on the PC, and a license for the operating system will cost us around $140. It's an expensive software, but one that is needed to get the train going. Total Amount and Conclusion Adding up everything that we discussed previously, the total amount comes to $1,526. To put things into comparison, the PS5 Pro retails for $700, so our PC is well over double the cost of the PS5 Pro. Of course, that's not really surprising since Sony also sells the consoles at a loss, only to then recoup that amount on future software sales and subscriptions. Our PC should be able to run all current-gen titles at 4K resolution without many hiccups, and it should also serve us pretty well for the foreseeable future. It It'll be interesting to revisit this topic in a few years, especially as PC parts continue to basically fluctuate with their prices over time. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.